Trains to New York on track one. You have to wear this tie for the same reason I'm wearing this very unflattering dress. We have to look businesslike if we're going to take care of Father's affairs while he's gone. Father says a woman's place is in the home. Then he should have stayed home, and your uncle shouldn't spend all his nights prowling around New York City looking for God knows what. I know what. I hope not. It's just, it's just Mister, <coughs> Mister, please, where is this? Well, you're in New Rochelle. How much further can they get on this? That should see you and the girl get clear to Boston and environs. What's further than Boston? Well, nothing's further than Boston. And you can take the rope off the girl. This ain't the city. Awesome. I see, I see. He's afraid of losing her. Immigrants are terrified of losing their children. So are we, just not so conspicuously. Now, Edgar, don't stare. It's not polite to stare. He's a rude little boy. Ignore him. People of good breeding do not stare at other people. They acknowledge each other politely, with a bow, like this. Good day. Good day, sir. She called me sir, without a doubt, we're really out of New York City. Fine weather, isn't it? Isn't it? Now that we're out of the cities, and it nothing like the city. He's still staring. <sighs> Never mind. My father's at the North Pole with Admiral Perry and Eskimos. Where is your mother, Dad? Edgar. My name is Edgar. We're off to visit our fudge factory. What is your name? No name. That's impossible. Everyone has a name. In the little Negro baby lives in our do not be rude. He I'm talks. the only one who stares a rope like a puppy dog. What does it feel like? Safe. He also stares. Safe. You think he'd never yes. seen someone from New York City? That's right, isn't it? Safe, isn't it? Yes. Always another surprise, Five. isn't it? Boston, Boston Post Road Trolley. Well. Well. Have a pleasant day, Pop. Have a pleasant trip, sir. Nothing like the city. Mamarnak, all aboard for Mamarnak. We know those people. That's ridiculous. They're poor foreigners. Then we're going to know them. Who put such thoughts in your head? Thank <laughs> you.